In this video I want to show you how to color sample from an image that has been imported. So I'm going to go to my node view and disable the breakdown just so that I can see my character nice. I want to click on that image and I want to click on the image bitmap quality just to make sure that it is as high as it can be so it's not grainy and pixelated. Um, and another thing you can do to get the best colors is to use the render view mode and it will look much more accurate. Okay, so it is time for us to pick all of the colors that we need. I'm just going to come over here into the color view and press plus, 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 a whole bunch of times. And it's usually the best idea to start from the top and go down. So his, this potato, his clothes are going to be white and then the jacket is going to be, or, or sorry, the clothes lines are going to be that kind of brown color, gray. So normally it's a if you're working on a production it's the best idea to say this would be hat this would be hat line this would be coat this would be coat line um, in case you ever needed to go back and change this color independent where this color would stay the same but i know for this uh, rig i don't need to do that uh, one other consideration that i want you to be aware of is when you're building a rig you only want to build it as much as you need to. You don't want to overbuild the thing. So um, just think about what it needs to be able to do and build it to those specifications. Okay, it'll save you time by not overbuilding more things than what you need. All right, so I am simply going to call this uh, clothes, clothes line. And then let's go for the hat. So that's going to be hat underscore black and then hat underscore black underscore line. And then we're going to go for potato. I could call it skin, but potato works for me. And then potato line. And then he's got some spots on his face. So we'll call those potato underscore spots. Next up, we've got the bandana, 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 underscore line. Okay, the buttons are the same color as the clothes for now. Um, and then the pants. So let's just uh, name this pants. And there's no line. Actually, I may end up doing a self trace line later on, so I'll do pants underscore line. I'll just leave it the way that I have it. Okay. Now, I don't need these other ones. I usually do add an additional color for cutter. And then these I'm going to delete because I don't need them. Okay, time to do some color picking. So I'm just going to double click this guy, close, just drag, release, double click. Yeah. Maybe I'll just slide this over here because it always wants to open in the middle of the screen. Clothes line. For the pants line, I'm going to choose the same color that's up here on the hat. So maybe I could get away with just going black and black lines. Nah, I will leave those separate. Who knows? Maybe his pants color will change. Cutter. I go for the most bright, obnoxious green I can find. So now I'm ready with all this stuff. Now I'm going to move all of these swatches down to the bottom. I'm just going to drag them. I want the most commonly used things to show up here at the top. Now also the eyes. I forgot to give a color for the eyes. And that is important. I do want it to be different from the clothes. Even though, even though it looks white and white right now, I'm going to give it its own color. So we'll go I white, um, we'll go pupil, and then pupil highlight. Pupil's gonna be black. Okay, 
And I want to move those up because those are part of the face. Put it underneath the hat stuff. And then I'm going to put the potato line and spots at the very top because I think that that is what I'm going to be using most frequently. And then um, I actually like to have the lines first because I usually draw with the line first and then I come back and color later. So I'll just put all of the line parts above the fill. And I see no reason to put bandana underscore fill. That is bandana. So I think I've got all of that. We'll put the pants up here. Think we're good. Now I'm going to right click and choose swatch mode. Sometimes I like this, sometimes I don't. It helps to save space, but then you can't see things as easily. So maybe I'll get out of swatch mode. All right, it is time to begin tracing this guy. See you soon.